What is the worst thing that you've seen a co-worker do and still avoid being fired? Had a boss storing pictures of himself in only his wide-open bathrobe on company servers. It was reported to our but wasn't fired for it. Later he was arrested as part of an undercover sting where he thought he was meeting a 15-year-old girl about 500 miles away. Why don't you take a seat over there intensify? Accidentally send the last three years of account details back statements from one company to their direct competitor. Accidentally? I know someone who managed to close an entire supermarket early for the first time in its history, costing the company several thousands of pounds because they tried to set a clock on a computer back an hour to avoid missing some deadline for a daily routine. He said it seemed such a good idea at the time. That's oddly impressive. How did setting the clock back lead to that? Our rep found out about a person's elective surgery and made fun of her with a former employee. Let me recap, this person knew about an employee's private medical information because she worked with our health care plan in her role as our and shared that private information with another person for the sole purpose of mocking the employee. She was not fired. That's not just worthy of being fired. That's 100% illegal. Drill a hole clean through a condensate line and have the ceiling of a three-car garage collapse when the drywall gave. Me, I am that guy. Alma. How did you not die? Barely. I had three days of in my office now. I was honest, it was one of those jobs with more than one teams of two and another guy was the lead. But as soon as I saw pictures of the devastation I knew it was my fault. I told my boss that wasn't X's fault, I did that. I made a one in a million shot. I couldn't do it again if I tried. My boss said my honesty saved my job. But I'm at two strikes right now. Guy at my wife's old job was brought in because he was really good at selling the services they provided. Proceeded to send dick pics to the women at work and solicit nudes from them. Women said to stop or they'd take it up with management and it subsided some solicited nudes from a new chick who asked my wife about it and my wife went to management with everything and said this guy's out or I'm quitting. Well, she quit. Guy's still there but most the original female staff has quit. Money talks. Dudes bringing in more money than the sexual harassment issues. S is dumb, but if it's not a huge company, then that's definitely why he's still there. After already being disciplined and essentially demoted for doing his job terribly, my co-worker drunk texted all of our managers in the middle of the night asking why they didn't love him. It's been about two weeks and I haven't seen him since, but he's not gone. Not the worst thing he could have done but I crunched thinking about it. Had a co-worker as a standard business practice falsely condemn furnaces in winter to pressure homeowners into buying new systems and pad his commission check. I couldn't do anything as I had no direct proof, but he would joke about it all the time. It did finally catch up with him when one customer smelled BS and called other companies with advanced testing machines. Took those results and sued the poop out of him. I ended up working for that second company and haven't looked back. Sued the poop out of him. Superb. Eat weed, urinate outdoors on garbage cans in public, masturbate and drink on the job. Was was your co-worker a goat or something? Nothing. Documenting work as completed when no actual work had been done. Management knew or was suspicious of it, but not so much as a write-up or reprimand. Eventually, management changed, figured out no work was being done, called it fraud, and canned them. The job was easy too, and good money. I don't get why they didn't just do the work. Job's even easier if you don't do it at all. This guy knows things. Not giving patients their medication at the right time, and generally not giving a F about them. A friend once told me that whenever she worked nights with a certain staff member, the patients were always really quiet. This was unusual as it was an acute, specialist ward and could be mayhem. She then discovered that the staff member used to just give all the patients unprescribed sleeping tablets when they were on nights, to keep them quiet. This was years ago and I don't know what came of it but F hell. Obligatory not me but my wife. She had a co-worker that literally punched a customer, wasn't fired. 
Hill later got into a physical altercation with another co-worker, wasn't fired. Then he wrapped my wife's hair around her throat and play choked her. Still was not fired. Finally, he got into yet another altercation with a co-worker and pulled a gun on him, all while on the clock. Then he was fired. Man, what kind of ass did he have on the boss to blackmail him like that? I work in a medical marijuana state. One guy neglected to check a dryer room for a few days assuming all was well. All was not well, at all. The dehumidifier crapped out while the plants were being hung to dry and sat in a warm, dark room for three days before it was someone else's responsibility to check it. By that point every single plant was coated in mold, and we had to throw out a little over a million dollars worth of product. Side note. I had never done the math to see what he cost us until now and am mad all over again. His only punishment was to be denied moving to day shift but other than that it was forgotten about. That one guy was able to make that mistake and cost you over a million dollars seems more like a management problem to me. I work at a psychiatric hospital and we had a patient who was blind and who was admitted for drug-induced psychosis along with visual and auditory hallucinations. At my hospital we only accept the people who are in immediate danger to themselves or others. When a patient first comes to us they are put on a check sheet meaning every 10 minutes a staff member needs to see that the patient is breathing and safe. But sometimes we need to do a one-to-one, one, -to -one, one, one, meaning a staff member needs to be with this person at all times, either for their safety or the safety of other patients. We also have little body alarms and floor alarms for patients, mostly geriatrics, who are unsteady while walking and need assistance. These devices let us know when they get up so we can assist them. So anyway the blind patient was on a one, one and was taking a nap in their room. The staff had a laptop to do some charting while sitting on a one, one. Well the staff member put the laptop on the floor, left the room all while neglecting to hook up any of the body or floor alarms. While the staff member was out of the room our patient got up from their bed and tripped over the laptop and face planted. Another staff noticed and we ran down to take vitals and make sure the patient was okay. Thank goodness the patient wasn't injured, but we were furious with our co-worker for leaving. Their excuse was they needed to get some paperwork they had been putting off. All in all this person didn't get fired, Lord doesn't even know why, but did get a slap on the wrist. My co-workers and I were pissed. You do not leave a patient while on one, one, even if they are asleep. This dude walks a server out of the server room every six months or so to sell on eBay. We have literally no security except the front door, but the owner is so ancient and out of touch I doubt she even remembers things are being stolen. I have a co-worker that has terrible work ethic. He doesn't know how to separate his personal life from his work life so if he's in a bad mood, which happens often, everyone will know including customers. He's had at least three disciplinary meetings. Once he was caught just f around for an hour, not exactly sure what happened but our boss wasn't happy. Another time he just didn't show up to work without calling in, and it was a day that everyone knew would be busy. I don't know why he hasn't been fired yet, everywhere else I've worked he would've been gone by now. You work in a restaurant. Worked with a guy who punctured the main gas line to our shop three separate times. It was a construction company, and he somehow was still my superintendent although he could have blown up the shop. Former job. He would show up to shifts late like three or four days a week. He would also call in on a somewhat regular basis. Anyone else would have been fired for this. I have no idea what this manager saw in this guy. He still works there fake. A guy at the plant I work at scrapped $360,000 in airplane parts because he didn't even bother to look at the work instructions. He just drives a forklift now. Telemarketing co-worker was very obviously a psycho or sociopath. Showed up late every shift by definition, had quite a temper with authority, but would often just cause trouble out of boredom, by his own admission. The most controversial thing he did one particular day was address every client he spoke to by the N-word. Once the manager heard him, he yelled at him outside for 20 minutes, and that was the end of it. A week later, this co-worker denied it had ever happened before going on a tangent about how he liked to start arguments with his girlfriend just to see her cry. F-sociopath. 
Worst co-worker ever was the credit mooch. He would constantly horn in on other people's projects, getting his name added to them to make it look like he was doing as when he actually not. If people tried to assign him any work on said project he would have a personal emergency or a virus would make him lose all his work or his schedule is booked with other project or the worst. He would pull some sucker in to help him with it and said sucker would end up doing it all in utter frustration. Because he was so good at stealing credit, he managed to get top marks on his reviews despite doing absolutely zero actual work for the company. I know at least four people quit due to this guy getting better raises than they did. Far as I know they never actually got rid of him. A co-worker jumped out from behind a door at my husband, who is a disabled combat veteran with PTSD, dressed as if he was from the Middle East. He was literally trying to trigger a flashback. No repercussions, as he was the boss friend. Two weeks later, he fell down some icy steps and broke both legs. Karma took care of that one. I love when karma is swift, fell. Not my company, but an outside supplier, we'll call them idiots, Inc., we worked with regularly. They got some young Turk sales guy, we'll call him Chad, and who took a liking to one of the young female employees at my company, who was engaged. Chad flirted with her a bit, and finally asked her out on a date. She politely declined, saying that she was engaged. Chad wouldn't take no for an answer, and continued to bother her. Nothing inappropriate, per se but annoying and definitely unprofessional. We called and asked for a new salesperson to be put on our account. Idiots, Incorporated said known that they would speak to Chad. Well, whatever they said just seemed to egg Chad on. It finally crossed the line from annoying to inappropriate. The whole thing culminated when he left a wildly inappropriate voicemail on her phone detailing all the things he'd do to her if he got her alone. The young woman was understandably freaked out about that and got our involved. That was the final straw, and I think it was more because my company was afraid of being sued rather than worrying about their employees' well-being and safety. Ugh. One of the female VPS called the owner of the company and played a message for him. The owner laughed and said, Oh, come on, boys will be boys? Well, the female VP made it her business to be sure that this company got not one more dime of our money. They were blacklisted and that was that until this vice president left the company about seven years later. All of a sudden, we were doing business with them again. I reminded the coup about what happened, and he knew about it, don't kid yourself, and his response was basically well, enough time has passed. Neither employee is with their respective companies anymore, and they provide a good service at a good price, so we're using them. Ugh. The owner was still the same puss, and that would be enough for me to blacklist them forever. I worked for an organization that had a small maintenance department. It only consisted of two guys. They both hated their jobs and felt underpaid and were applying to other jobs. They both left work without telling anyone they were leaving to go to the same job interview. On the clock. The job interview also happened to be for a job at a sister location for our office. And they both used our manager as a reference. She got a phone call within minutes of their interviews and collected their unstamped time cards before they even got back to the office. She had them dead to rights for wage theft. But it also took two months to fill any position at our organization because of crushing bureaucracy for job postings. And the lawn needed to be mowed before the weekend. They both got to keep their jobs. They were still working there six months later when I left. I didn't actually see it. But I have heard so many stories about one of my co-workers. He has left his underwear on the floor in the bathroom, he's eaten cinnamon and hot sauce then threw up, he fell off a ladder, and he dropped a tray full of mugs, about 20 mugs. He quit because he thought he had another job lined up, but he obviously didn't, and then my boss rehired him. There's probably more stories, that I can't remember at the moment. Also when he was still in school, he kissed his crush in front of her boyfriend. When someone says idiot, he's the first person to come to mind. Absolutely nothing. I have folks that I send emails to with no answer. I reply weekly, sometimes 7-10 weeks at a time and they just ignore me. Occasionally I walk into their office to ask about them, and they're quite obviously playing video games on their phone or watching YouTube videos on their computer. 
Yet I'm still held to the metrics that I can't reach because they won't do their part. One of the guys who trained me at my current job straight up totaled a company car because either he wasn't paying attention or fell asleep while driving. He's a corrections officer now. I had a knife pulled on me in the workplace in addition to multiple threats uttered against me. All for being honest and competent. All those people still work there. Carpentry Department, North Vancouver School District. I dragged them all in after I resigned and laid down the law. But all those psychopaths still work there around children. I have documentation to prove this. They offered me my job back. I said, hell, no. There are gonna be some savage responses out there but I work in a pretty professional environment so the worst thing I've ever seen was my co-worker falling asleep as the head of our department. Starting announcing layoffs. She was not one of the people who were fired that day and still falls asleep in meetings. I don't work there anymore and I still get updates about where she last passed out and those people that tell me work with her but are not her co-workers. Guy maxed out the company credit card at a casino. My current boss was the top salesman at the company. He was doing side deals and stealing from the company. The owner called him in to talk about it and somehow he I was accounting staff had someone brought in to do data entry. His sole job was to take paperwork and enter the relevant details into the accounting software. I went on maternity leave. Returned from maternity leave about 12 weeks later and started getting loads of phone calls and emails from vendors asking why they hadn't been paid. Looked at the panel, was like why the F didn't anyone else notice expenses were way down? And why aren't we paying anyone? Turns out data entry guy was entering a couple bills per day then chucking the rest into some random file drawer. I had to clean up all his bowl, then got reamed by the CFO about having too much expense in the one time period. Nothing happened to him. He ended up leaving on his own. When his next job didn't work out, they wanted to bring him back. It was a smallish company, and if you were the right religion you were untouchable. Teaching English overseas, one of my co-workers was found dead drunk and stumbling around talking nonsense. This was at 730 am in his classroom, before school was open. His co-teacher stumbled on him passed out in the kiddie coat closet. He must have gotten in at night sometime. When they woke him, he went into rambling speech about how he had to get to the local mall and get his shopping done. Then he walked out of the school and rode off on his scooter. Didn't teach that day. Did not get let go, 